Today we are going to learn about how to get started in the industry. Yes, I'm going to break things down for you of how to get started in the industry. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you saw my previous video, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. If you've not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, it really helps and it will help me grow my channel and every good thing that comes with that. I am Vera Vixen. I've been doing makeup professionally for the last two years and I'm based here in Kampala, Uganda. I'm going to be talking about two things. Yes, two things. One is where you get a teacher. The other is um, where you learn online. So let me start with getting a teacher. If you're out there and you have the money and you'd love to, to get a teacher, go ahead and do it. Yeah, go ahead and do it. It's a really good thing. With a teacher, you get to be corrected firsthand there. You do some you do something and it's not right, the teacher will correct you there and then. That really that that's really helpful because it saves time. And then since that person is a professional, they are really giving you first hand info. Get a teacher. But before you do that, do your research. Yes. Go ahead and do your research. Figure out what you want to do. Figure out the makeup that you want to do. Makeup is different and everyone's touch is different. So figure out what you want to do. Then get a teacher in line with what you want to do. There is editorial, SFX and beauty makeup. So figure out where your interest is. SFX, get a teacher. Beauty, get a teacher. Like editorial, get a teacher too. So Figure out where your interests are, then get a teacher in line with that. Yes. Another thing is that practice. Practice, 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 practice. Yes, you need to practice as much as you can. You need to practice as much as you can. I cannot preach that enough. Practice. Makeup is a repetition game. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So practice. Also, another thing, the teacher is not going to teach you 100% of what you want. So I would advise someone to supplement what the teacher says with online. Go to YouTube and, and look at the different eyebrows. People do things differently. Look at the different uh, skin types. Look at, look at different ways of doing the same thing. Your teacher may be teaching you something and you may not be getting it because it's not easy for you but if you do more research you can find an easier way of doing things so yes supplement what the teacher is saying with online it's really really helpful now on to the online part so if you don't have the money you can still learn makeup and do it online yes all you have today is buy data what you need to do is that go online, get that account, start watching. But I would advise you to watch how to videos. Yes. Uh, go in that search bar, write how to, how to do an eyebrow, how to apply foundation, how to apply lipstick, how to highlight and contour how to conceal look for videos that tackle a specific thing yes look for videos that tackle a specific thing that will help you. it will give you more info of what they are doing and how they are doing it plus why they are doing it yes look for how to videos they are really re really helpful another thing is that follow professional makeup artists yes Follow professional makeup artists. Uh, right now, we have so many professional makeup artists, but we also have beauty influencers. Professional makeup artists and beauty influencers are two different things. Yes, for beauty influencers, they mostly work on themselves, so they have mastered their faces. You see all this goodness coming on your on your screen. They have mastered their faces but with a pro mower they work on different people so they have all that info about how to work on different people different face shapes different skin tones different undertones like they give you all that insight they really go deep into what into what to do if you want to do things professionally 
Yes. Another thing is that practice. Yes, I'm going to say it again. Practice. Practice, practice, practice as much as you can. Yes. If you want to practice and you do not have the money to go buy original products, that is okay. Go down to Gazaland, Gazaland Grand Corner, Galilaya. Those three buildings, they are in the same area. Go the, down there and buy yourself Kiss products makeup. Like makeup from Kiss company. Is it Kiss industry? I don't know, but it's Kiss. Go get yourself a full kit of Kiss products and go practice. When you have the money later, you will get yourself some original products. But I advise you, if you want to work on a client, if you're going to do makeup professionally, please get yourself original products. Yes, get yourself original products. If you are going to do this at a professional level, get yourself original products. But for practice, like on your face, on your friends, but though, tell them these products and this are this. Ask them if, if it's okay to put them on your face. I don't want you coming back and you're like, well, I say this, then someone, this and this. I don't want that. So ask them. Also, if you're doing, if you're learning online, I would advise if you have a friend who is so into makeup or if you know a makeup artist, if you are friends with one, what I would advise is you send them your work. Ask them if there is anything you need to improve on, anything you need to correct. It will help you. Yes, if you have one, go ahead and ask. It will really, really, really be helpful. Also, I would advise if you get a makeup artist you can intern with, you do that. While, while you're getting into the industry, it's really good to like, you know, if you if you know some bit of what you're doing, you can ask to intern with a makeup artist. If they accept, that is good for you. It will be good for you because it will give you insight of how to be a makeup artist here in Uganda. If they can even take you on jobs that they are doing, it will help you. Because the industry itself is good, but then we are working on, on all these different people and I'm telling you, it is an experience. It's an experience. I remember one day when I had just started out, um, this client almost made me cry. Yeah. She almost made me cry. So it's not easy, especially if you've learned like online, you still have that doubt in you're like, am I really that good? And for me, at first, I didn't have any makeup artist to ask. So I was going on my friend's opinions. Which side friends don't even wear makeup? Yeah, they don't wear makeup. So they would be like, Vela, you're good, you're good, you've learned, you're good. You can now go work on a professional, like you can go work on a professional level. Hi. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. But here I am two years later, very confident. I am very confident and I learned everything everything on youtube so if you don't have the money and you want to to learn makeup go ahead and use youtube it's a really really good platform if you want to learn things so that ends my video today if you've watched until this far thank you so much it means the world to me if you've liked my content oof thank you thank you so much and consider subscribing liking and sharing uh, I'm going to be posting twice in a week. I'll be posting on a Tuesday, then I'll be posting on a Saturday. Right now, I'm tackling the makeup industry, how to begin your career in the makeup industry. So if, you, if you're if you interested in that, again, consider subscribing. If you know someone who wants to join the industry, but they don't know how to go about it, um, share share my videos with them. Yes, it will be helpful to be insightful. I've been doing this for the last two years and this is my experience that I'm talking about. Also, I've I've known, um, um, I now know so many makeup artists, so I usually ask them also about their experiences. So I combine and then bring info that is genuine and, it, and helpful. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.